Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint an Iron Hands chapter badge. If you'd like to support the channel, our Coffee and Patreon page is linked below. Now onto the video. Okay, for this tutorial we're going to start with Vallejo White, but whichever white you'd use is fine. And the main colours that we're going to use on this, or the only colours we're going to use, is Vallejo White and Vallejo Black. So when I start doing this, I'll draw the centre finger running all the way down to the bottom where I want that kind of angular base to the gauntlet. Then do a line down for the finger between the middle finger and the little finger. And do the finger to the right followed by the thumb. At the moment we are just putting these in roughly so you know where to start working from and you can tweak them after. Then we will fill in where the palm is and start doing that splayed section at the bottom where you get that angular base to the glove. Now ordinarily you'd have different shades of sort of like dark grey on the top of the pauldron but on this I'm just working with pure black as it isn't actually on the miniature. So there, we're filling out the fingers a little bit. The fingers are in kind of sections, almost like stepped down, getting wider as they get towards the base of the finger where it joins onto the knuckle. We're just widening out that palm a little bit. So you have the angles by the thumb and the angular section coming out at the bottom. Now you can see that looking far too wide in certain parts, not wide enough in others. As I say, this is the base outline. We'll then use some black to tweak it and then use some more white to tweak out those little bits again. Now, this is the usual process of tweaking a little bit here and there, looking at it, seeing where it needs to be expanded or shrunk down or see where angles need to be or where bits don't quite fit together. Then tweak them accordingly. So you have the spike on each side where the base of the gauntlet goes in and joins the base of the hand. So like the wrist area, you have that spike on either side of the wrist. This here is the Vallejo black that we're using. Now I'm going to start tweaking the outline of the glove that we have, or the gauntlet. I'm going to move in that thumb, you can see the first section of the thumb is far too wide there, it doesn't really have that step in as well. So we're going to do a slightly overpronounced step in on that thumb. And start working around the areas that we want to tweak. So while I'm doing this, I've got a kind of black and white image of the Iron Hands chapter badge up on screen. And I'm sort of looking at where the fingers are and where those steps are and trying to get them as close to the image as I can. Now with the symbol being so small on the shoulder pad, it can be quite tricky getting those fingers and the little steps in the fingers on there. Bearing in mind this is for the tabletop, it's not for competition or anything like that. So it doesn't really matter too much as long as you get them going thinner from the top to the bottom. That should look fine once it's on the tabletop. So here we are flipping between the black and the white on the brush and tweaking here, there and everywhere, painting some of that white colour onto the wider areas of the gauntlet to make them more flat white. You get a little bit of black and tweak up the outside part and make sure that's all okay and then keep flitting between the two just so you can work that and get that nice and smooth just how you want it.
with that, the chapter badge is finished. This is the finished Iron Hands chapter badge. Quite pleased with how that turned out. With a bit more practice, it should be fine. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support us, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.